What are the objective conditions that make people revolt? Mm -hmm. right. Because revolution comes from people revolting. Absolutely. And, you know, have we all agreed that all the objective conditions are in place? Hunger, mm. poverty, mm. you know, frustration. Mm. Every, all of them are, you They're know, bloating there. high. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the last thing is for people to shake off their complacency. Mm -hmm. And somehow, what he's referring to complicity. Mm -hmm. Complicity is that, you know, anytime there's an opportunity, yes. I go and meet the people who are in charge, collect money from them, come and sabotage, yeah. you yeah. know. I may disagree with you that there will be spontaneous. For revolutions to be effective, they have to be spontaneous. Yeah, I think that's where he you know, but, but I think, you know, what I mean spontaneous is that, the people against whom we are revolting must be in a comfortable position but, to but say it can never happen. It happened in yeah, Cuba. They were but, still drinking, you know, yes. cognac yeah. the yeah. night before saying, look, is it not yeah. a bunch of brat? You know, when it happened in Sudan, yeah. they were making fun of the ladies who started it on the street corners, like, it's women, you know, it's, yeah. you know and then I mean, like, one day from 5,000, it became 500,000. Yeah. And before the, you could say Jack Robinson, these guys are out of power. What but I the find, last thing I want to say before yeah, you jump in is that you don't just plan revolutions, you also plan the micromanaging of the outcome yeah, of the Otherwise, the same set of people... That's, what, that's the point I was trying to make. I'll make that point for you. Yeah. 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 I'll make that point for you. Well, no, what I was yeah. even going to say is, I, I saw your interview with yeah. Plus TV. Yeah. You know, interesting. And, and I, when you refer to the revolution, you talked about, basically, um, there was a particular word you used, which I forget. Is it breaking down... Um, get, breaking down the structure, totally, saw, or something yeah. to that effect. And I think that's, you know... For me, when people talk about a revolution, they do talk about it in that way, and it's that explosive way that everybody talks about. For, for me, I think we need to like, look at it with a more pragmatic, implementable, and practicable approach. Because look, when you're breaking down systems, you're looking, often when people talk about revolution in Nigeria, they're talking about a revolution against the elite. Stop focusing on the elite and talk about a revolution that's nuanced to the masses. If you have a revolution that's nuanced to the masses, then you work from the outside in. And what do I mean by that? Basically, a revolution can happen in several different ways. Like, was it you or Mecca that was saying last time that people are always afraid of restructuring that word? Well, you can do restructuring in a gazillion of ways. So for me, what I would say is, so if you work at it from the outside ways, first of all, look at the key stones of, um, of a society, women and children, right? So create those market places, give them grants, not loans, so you empower from the outside. Also, start employing students straight from university, graduate recruitment. Don't wait for them to there, get on the streets. A, you look I, at the health I understand what you're stuff. saying, but you know, there's also a concept of a dimension to this mm. that I'm seeing as a trend, mm. which is analysis paralysis. No, I'm not you analyzing. It's practicable. To problem to the point that but what I'm I mean, saying is practicable. What saying. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, like, what I'm saying but the thing is that actually you know, practicable. The, the thing is that there's none of these things that we haven't tried. It, no, so you that, haven't tried direct. No, trade that money mean, was you are, no, 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 no. Forget trade that money. Put that one. Be, put that one aside. Let me you say, know? put it to you. But I put it to you. You, you have not the, tried. Look, in the old days, yes. right? Our fathers will tell you I was recruited directly from university. That's they correct. had graduate recruitment. But, so you but, haven't tried but, that. That's number but that's, one. But number that's, two but is, the point is let me, let me come in. Sorry, sorry, the status quo. Everything the that is done is right not creating these things. The status quo cannot solve the problem. Let me just try to find out. Because I want to make a point. Everything that's being done right now. Notice I said it has to be done from the outside in. Everything that's being done right now is often done from the inside out, from the center. I'm saying, start. Start from the conundrums, so the conundrums, the, the rural individuals. areas, no, to the rural areas, to the masses. Okay. Because if you're focused, the, there's no point of a revolution. If you're not focused, if you're not nuanced, okay, okay, no, let me no, make no. this point. Sorry, yeah, let, let me, me make, make this point. So make your point. So yeah, I'll make my point I because I know you want to come back yeah. on that. Just keep a, yeah, make a note of it. Um, I was wanting to follow up on a point he raised. Well, I wanted to make it, but he started saying it, which is my issue, and I, that's why I want there to be an element of planning in any kind of change people Absolutely. envisage. Is that all the revolutions I've looked at? Usually, the people who come to save end up becoming worse than the people. Thank they, you. Okay. They were displaced. Yeah. So the reason being that that whole mentality of this thing can't co exist outside of me and the Precisely. power corrupts gets into their heads. You know, Precisely. if you look at Mugabe and all these people, um, what's the guy in Cuba? Um, yes. What's his name? Castro. 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 You know, and various other people like no, that. No, Rwanda so, is not far so to, And you know that you know, we're no. still in that place where somehow okay, we're mature <laughs> as leaders. We don't seem to understand <laughs> accountability, you know, yes. you know, um, delegating Again, power. So we need to make sure that if there's any point Again. in doing a revolution, those things need to be in Exactly. Place. But we don't need to draw parallels that drown us. 
You understand? Which is the assumption is that there are no good Nigerians. No, there are. No, of that's course. what I'm saying. No, who can? But they need a system that restrains that, that from those the impulses. Outside. That, I don't that's, want a revolution no that's led by that by people who are at the center. I want a that's if exactly you care about if you care about me as a Nigerian, irrespective of the fact that I'm middle class, I want you to start from my brothers and sisters who do not get a full day's meal. Yeah, then I, I would be. But I think that the two points are two different things. Yeah. Yeah. Not not you. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. but what I'm but saying, even let's, at my, let's, let's even make his point. Even at my level, mm. even at my level, sometimes I feel too comfortable to want to take risk. You know, revolution involves taking risk. You know, you are you are I talking from you. a point of view of what they call you know enlightened self-interest. You know, you are saying that the revolution was happened from the village. Which revolution ever happened from a village? Oh my never. God! That's never. because it's you're it's not never being happened. Never happens in the city. Yeah, yeah, it happens in the city. Yes. Thinking, it, yes. No, that's there's no revolution right there. There's no revolution that happens from the village. That's what I'm like. I've never seen it. It has to happen where it has to be. Where it has to be. Look, you've all done it. You've all been going on. You've all been going on about this revolution right and I'm saying to you what are you talking about forget whether you're gonna have bloodshed you're talking about a financial economical structure human and hum revolution of the humanity self-worth it is said that the journey of a thousand miles begin with one step I can I make light of the challenges ahead of us after the break